Hi, today I'd like to show you how to use GoalSeek. GoalSeek is the easiest of the what if tools in Excel 2016. I want to show you basically how to use it and then also show you one or two other things that may or may not be confusing. Okay, so here we have simple cash flow. We put in 100, we get out 10, 12, 14, 160. It's a stream of money, easy enough. And I have an IRR function. The IRR function says, let's take the initial money, let's run it for a few years. And this gets us to 20.66% under money. Uh, if you don't know what the IRR function is, that's fine. It doesn't really matter for purposes of this discussion. I just want to show you how to use goal seek. So I go to what if analysis, I pick goal seek, I set the cell to what I want, say 22%, and I say to get to 22%, I will change my final year of cash flow. So F11 to 22% by changing I9. When I press OK, it quickly, in the blink of an eye, changes I9 to 168.313 and gets us to F11 being 21.98% which is not exactly 22%. Now, most people at this point just punt. They say, well, it's close enough, and I'm fine, and I'm going to move on with my life. And if I were lazy, I guess I could eliminate some spaces after the decimal, and it's 22%. That's good enough, and I call it a day. Why is Dulce coming up with 2198? Why is it not smarter than that? Well, let's put it back to 160 here. And let's go to File, Options, Formulas. And under File, Options, Formulas at the top in Excel 2016, and it's similar to other versions of Excel, you can see here in the upper right-hand corner, it says Maximum Iterations 100, Maximum Change 0.01. In other words, it will only take steps of 0.01 when trying to figure out what the right answer is. Well, since I was trying to get to 22%, it got to 21.98, and it gave up. It wasn't going to go anymore. In other words, it kind of said, hey, I'm close enough. I'm done. Let me add some zeros after this to say, no, 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 no. Do a bunch of calculations to try to get the right answer, but have a much higher rate of accuracy. When I do that, and I press OK, and I go to Formula, I'm sorry, Data, what if, goal seek, set F11 to 22.00%, or you could even just do 22%, by changing I9, press OK, and after a moment, it gets me exactly to 22%, and actually, as you can see here, it's really, really, really accurate, and here we can see it's really, really, really accurate. Of course, it stopped at 21.9999999 because if I go to File, Options, Formulas, Maximum Change, you'll notice it said it would not step any more than 0.00000001. And so the accuracy I have in F11 stops at 21.9999. 999. In other words, goal seek works. It doesn't get you exactly where you need to go. This is why a lot of times in finance, instead of using goal seek, instead of backing into the answer, instead of iterating to the answer, if we can, we try to use a more formulaic approach to solve for the answer. Uh, that is to say, change the input to get an answer exactly to 22% rather than just say to Excel, hey, why don't you mess with the formulas until you get an answer that makes sense? Um, that's goal seek and hopefully you found that useful. Okay, thanks.